Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. In today's video, I'm taking you with me on a short walk in the uh, park uh, and forest connecting to the park as well. We can have a look at the view on this beautiful summer day. We will also be talking about a wonderful article that I found by uh, relig uh, learnreligions.com. It's about cancelling out stress using reflexology and we're also going to discuss some relaxing techniques that have been mentioned in the article now the article is by Thomasine Haywood and I will link the article uh, in the description box below if you guys want to refer back to it the author mentions how reflexology can be a natural low-cost option to offset the effects of stress on the heart and on the overall health and well-being reflexology actually it treats the body the mind and the spirit as a cohesive system by getting to the cause of the disease not its symptoms and reflexology possesses the capacity to cancel out the effects of stress while it also helps the body to reach a place of deep relaxation where it can balance the body systems he then goes on to talk about how reflexology actually reduces stress. So through the relaxation process, he says, the body is more capable of dealing with the stresses placed on it by daily living and those associated with illness. Reflexology gently nudges the body towards improved functioning of the system by improving the lymphatic drainage and venous circulation, stimulation of the nerve pathways and muscle relaxation. In a report on reflexology, research published at www.reflexology-research.com, a Chinese study has demonstrated how reflexology efficiently elevated the effects of extreme stress. So in the study, 20 patients being treated for uh, neurothenia, uh, which is a condition of extreme emotional stress, they were given a course of reflexology at the hospital's department of physiotherapy. The treatments focused on areas of the feet relating to the adrenal glands, the kidneys, bladder, sinus, brain, and heart. All of these are organs that co are compromised by the effects of stress. So the treatment was given daily for a week with the following results presented at the Chinese or at the China Reflexology Symposium in July 1993. The study showed that 40% experienced a complete cure, 35% were greatly improved, while 15% were mildly improved and 10% reported no change at all. Reflexology releases feel-good hormones. Reflexology therapeutically reduces stress and tension throughout the body systems in order to improve blood and lymph circulation. It also helps to increase nerve supply to the cells and it helps in releasing toxins from the body's tissues. It is believed to encourage the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good hormones well documented in their ability to relieve stress. Reflexology supports self-healing. These physiological benefits also facilitate improvements in the body's assimilation of nutrition, elimination of waste and immune system stimulation. Reflexology supports the body in its process of self-healing and maintaining the balance that leads to good health. Plus, reflexology feels great and nearly everyone is a candidate for reflexology. Amazing research piece indeed, written by Thomasine Haywood, who is a writer, teacher, and practitioner in private practice. She is also a Reiki master, reflexologist, and a massage and sound therapist. And she teaches various uh, subjects relating to alternative health and prosperity awareness. And she is the author of Rub Your Feet, Improve Your Health. You can find her book in the description box below if you guys are interested. And I'll link the article. Please have a great day. And let me know if you've tried reflexology before. Has it helped you? Um, please share your experiences. And if you do like the channel and the videos, subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.